Yes, yes, yes. All right. Thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us for yet another fantastic video we are bringing to you. Yes, um, Colin Satapoku is a fantastic sports journalist of Sumpa FM and Sumpa TV. And he has been bringing us some reports um, from the United States of America. In fact, he went to USA to monitor the Ghana friendlies versus Mexico as well as versus the United States of America. And he's bringing us a certain reports that the Ghana Football Association may um, be planning to sack um, coach Chris Hutton from the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars um, job before the African Cup of Nations. He said that if that happens, it will not be a surprise at all. Why is he saying that? What are the conversations and the consultations that have been going on? Atapuku will be bringing that to us in this video. We are going to watch or listen to what he had to say um, today when he spoke to Sompa FM and Sompa TV. Thanks to them for the voice. Also, we will sp um, talk about Black Stars coach Chris Hilton answering Fentu Tahiru Fentu another um, fantastic sports journalist with Joy News and the multimedia he asked the um, coach Chris Hilton um, he asked him about the Ghana Black Stars he, does he is he impressed with the Black Stars and what coach Chris Hilton had to say we will also be watching that video and then you have some small analysis yes so it's a packed video after the Ghana Black Stars lost 4-0 to the united states of america and then um, playing just one shot on target in our last friendly game versus the usa subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very much now let's take the thing to tahiru's own okay before we come to the um atapoku's own now the thing to tahiru at the post-match press conference after the game versus united states of america where Ghana lost 4 0 at the Geodis Park. This is what transpired between Fentu and the coach of the Blasters, Coach Chris Hutton. My name is Fentu Tahiru Fentu from Geodis. Um, you were with the team from uh, March 2022 uh, when you first joined as technical advisor with Otuado when we called back to the World Cup. You stayed with them. Um, throughout some of the qualifying matches as well, up to the end of the World Cup, um, before you fully took over the job in March of, of this year. Um, so you've been with the team for, for a while now. Uh, in the seven games that you played, you've only won two games. Um, if you're adding Liberia, so three. Uh, in seven matches, we've scored seven goals. We've considered nine. We've had seven shots on target in seven games. Um, in this game alone against the USA, the US had eight shots on target in just one game. So clearly we are not creating enough. Um, the call-ups uh, have been questionable, most notably Edmond Addo has not played. He's played 14 minutes. The last time he played was in July of this year for his club level. He's constantly in the national team. Um, there are other players uh, that have been called up not been given minutes. You indicated the fact that you're trying new players. We've seen a player like Connie Stoffer, uh, who has been called up many, many times. He's not been given enough minutes, except in the game against Liberia. Um, we haven't played well. The football hasn't been pleasing uh, in the eye. Um, I think you admitted to that to that much. We are conceding. We've conceded nine. We're not scoring. So when you look at everything that has happened. Do you genuinely think that since you took over the team, we've made some steps forward and there's enough justification for, you, for us to believe that you're the man for the job going forward? Okay, so you've uh, mentioned a lot of things here. It's a very, very long question. Um, Marathon question. Uh, I, I think amongst, I, I understand all the criticism. Doing this a long time, and I know what uh, the game means to the Ghanaians. I know. Um, there is also a positive. You know, we have qualified for uh, African Cup of Nations. Uh, if uh, anybody thinks, if anybody thinks that it's it's given to you, it's not. You know, we have had to go through a qualification group. We would have been favourites in the group for sure. So I know. There are some positives. Uh, 
Um, it's my responsibility to build this team. Um, I have to work around the, some of the issues that we always have as regards uh, injuries, players missing from squad, trying to get consistency in the team. And we would continue to strive to get the right formulas. Um, I've also been involved in the game long enough to know sometimes, sometimes you can go through those bad periods to come out better for them. And sometimes, sometimes the, the bad performances like today um, can be something that can kickstart something else. Or it can be something that makes my mind up about a certain system, way of playing, players, or what have you. So, um, so we, 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 the only thing we can do is we can use it. I understand the disappointment. And, uh, I can tell you, there's nobody that's more disappointed than what I am. All right, yes. So that is um, what Fink to Tahir referred to. Um, the question he asked Coach Chris Hutton and how Chris Hutton answered it. Are you impressed or were you impressed with how the coach answered it? I am not impressed. Look, he, this coach, eh, he thinks that he's coaching Cape Verde B or Comoros. So if he qualifies for Afcon, he has done well. You've not done anything, no. Oh. This coach, I don't understand. You've not done anything if you qualify for the Afcon. You've not done anything. In fact, um, um CK Akon Okra can qualify as to the AFCON. Any local coach can qualify. By which teams did you play? Madagascar, Madagascar, Angola. Those teams you play to qualify as. My Ghana is a top level team. We were the second African country to play the quarterfinals of the World Cup. The World Cup, yes. Afcon, we've played finals on several occasions, semi finals, several occasions. So, if you qualify us to the Afcon, you've not done anything. You are saying it was there are positive, we've qualified for the Afcon, and he's not in it. You are not, you've not done anything. Oh. Somebody should tell the coach that he's not done anything. Even George Watson could have qualified us to the Afcon. We are paying you this much so that you qualify us to the Afcon. You are not serious. This coach, man, how, how can you say that? So, that's what he said. I don't know if you agree with me or you think that <laughs> what I'm saying. Look, he shouldn't think that it is an achievement for Ghana to qualify to the Afcon. It is not an achievement. In fact, you made it difficult for us to qualify. You made it difficult. You came and then you were drawing games and please, please, the way that... you see, when you ask him a direct question, then he will be going around it. He will be going around it. That doubtful. Yeah, you just that doubt you like that. Ah, uh, that doubt. So let's look at what Atapuku also had to say from the United States of America. He is reporting that um, it will not be a surprise at all if the Ghana Football Association um decides to sack Coach Chris Hutton before the African Cup of Nations in January because everybody at the Ghana Football Association isn't happy or yes they were not happy with what the Black Stars could the performance of the Black Stars under Coach Chris Hutton. It's not only the game versus USA, but even versus Mexico before the two games versus Mexico and USA. How the Black Stars have been performing in total. Um, the Ghana Football Association are not happy with it. And um, if they have the way, their way, they will be willing to sack the Black Stars coach. Do you think Black Stars coach Chris Hutton should be sacked or not? Let me know your thoughts, comments, views in the comment section. Let's check what Atapu go out to say. About coaching, no. I mean, in Ukraine, any part you're born to deal with Black Stars team and rap, hey, the coach, or any players, uh, you're not going to first deal with Jumano. But I mean, in Ukraine, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Black Stars, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to and he understands how much Ghanaians love their football and the fact that they would want a team that has won four titles and are waiting for their fifth title to play well. Look, this is the reality. No, we have progress and ball from start to finish. Mira, we are not playing well. It's strange. Mono, someone in the da, who the might play about we improve with my NBA also. You can see a BBN here, Kwangula, Kote Kano. Ah, I'm a boss, I'm born between Joseph Pinter, Lenos, and Bukari, and Inak Williams. And also, Ghana, there was a semblance of a quality team play. Look, we are not playing well. It, it's bad. Uh, and and it's, 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 it
Na where from the media reports and they just a coach, you know, the German on the pin for they consider Zambia, see how bad they are. And Afcon M S N to no cross all the way back. Any of them say by the time they back Afcon, they na say the blasters coach be man because even before the match, na he didn't even come up. So cool. Any man be no. It is a B B M A C L national team ni man you know. And I say say no man say because look, there is little to no impact. And the Obia, the FA like this, and you know, people are wondering, so what? So, how long now? So, how long will this continue? That the senior national team will continue to play poorly like this, not getting results, and everything will be going in shambles. I mean, nobody understands. But we are saying about that. That's the stark reality. We are not playing well. Okay. Now, I'm going to say that 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 i am going to say that i in Kabi BBC because in um, Komodi be quite and it's not I'm on fancy people. So in um, Komodi quite but at the very top level of the FA, they are consulting. Look, Chris, you know, we be happy to me. See, let me be honest with you. Monty, be sure whatever I mean, Jow. Now, I'm ready on the winning tier. We are messing about why. If you're talking to me, I said, didn't you find out I'm a better boy? I'm not saying you quiet yours or quiet, you look quiet, my dear. So, Rena, there will be a young friend of Payard in one year. And then consider that Ben black sheep bears are there on me. Is that crime? Is that Michael Seven catches or more boats and a crack? Yes, I walk out of here also. Now Ghana for no good to two country US in Miami Bay. Every here black sheep and run black stars. No, said black stars coach in the players, the management members. No, what things am I not going to form? No, no more so what you are moving around. Pop, pop, pop. Come on, man. See, if you are missing a banana, you come away. Maji Amira. And the only bishop at Tapu Kunanra report. All right, yes, so that is Collins Atapoku, fantastic journalist. Some perfume, some part TV, all of them in United States of America, bringing us the updates and everything we ought to know from the Black Stars camp as we've lost back to back games. Six goals conceded in two games. We didn't score one. We had just one shot on target. One shot on target. We didn't score. Yes, so um basically he's saying that the ghana football association isn't happy with what is going on and um he will not be surprised if the if the if the football association sacks coach chris Hutton before the african cup of nations because he, they think that the blasters they think the blasters is not improving the blasters is just static we are not improving there is no improvement from where coach chris Hutton came to take the blasters and up to now and that is a very very sad one um the two journalists are bringing let me know your thoughts, comments, views in the comment section of this video. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and select all. Oh, um, whether they stack him or not, it doesn't really matter. Okay, fine. You let me know your thoughts, comments, views. I'll come back. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next update. Bye bye.